Welcome, welcome, welcome! My name is Sarah Marie Dillard and you were just listening to Green Light Song from the State and Water Session, released from my band Sarah and the Underground. Welcome to Finding Your Voice with SMD. I'm so glad that you're here today. I'm going to give you just a moment to check in with me and I'm also going to pull up the live stream here um, so that uh, I can make sure I'll the angles are good and so that I can get your questions as they come in. So let's have a little check-in. If you were here last month in January for our first workshop and you're returning, please put a heart in the comments. I want to thank you for coming back. If you were if you were not here last month and this is your first time joining us for this free workshop, please put a thumbs up in the comments. I'd like to say hello to you and welcome you specifically. And also, if you have kids watching with you today, if you're doing a family thing or hanging out with um, some neighbor kids that uh, hang around your house a lot or something, uh, just give me, um, give me like a smiley face in the comments so that I can know kids are with us today and make sure that they feel included. All right, go ahead and check in for me, please. And we'll see who's with us today. And then we're gonna get to some singing. So glad that you're here. Let's see. My internet is going slowly, but I hope that the quality is working well for you. All right. While I'm waiting for my internet to catch up, we're just going to get started. So if you don't know what this is all about, we're here today to sing together from a distance because we need opportunities to make a joyful noise together right now in a safe environment. Uh, this is not normally something I would offer for free, but I really want to send out some good ripples into our community right now and get some people singing who might not otherwise have the opportunity um, to do so in an empowered, educated way. Um, so please share this with anyone you can remember who's ever mentioned wanting to sing or take voice lessons. We all have that friend that says, you know, I think... If I took voice lessons, I think I could be really good. I know someone came to mind for you, so please share this video with them now. Even if they're not able to be with us in this moment, they can watch it later. I'd love to help them get started uh, on that dream that they maybe haven't started pursuing yet. Okay, um, we're going to start today with a cleansing warm-up routine. And a lot of this stuff will be some things we did last month. I'm also going to try to fit in a vocal range. So I'm going to try to talk a little less today so we can get a range stretch in. But today, uh, we're just going to end every day. We're going to start by relaxing. We're going to start by releasing stress from our bodies, which are our instruments. So it's very important that they be stress-free. A stress-free voice is a strong and powerful and comfortable and healthy voice. So let's begin by releasing stress now. I might sound a little out of breath because I'm not used to doing all this technology all at once. So I have a little stress in my instrument right now because I was clicking a bunch of buttons and trying to get ready right on time. So I'm gonna focus on releasing that with a deep breath. That's so much better already. And we're going to check our posture. We're going to make sure we're sitting nice and tall. Standing is ideal, but you can sit as well if that's better for you today. All I ask is that you sit with a very tall, supported posture. Hmm. And continue breathing deeply. We want a tall spine, but we don't want limbs that are tense and high up in the air. We want tall spine and loose limbs. So try to let your shoulders feel nice and heavy, nice and heavy. And that's better internet, good. Let's see who's checking in with us now, this is awesome. Hi Chris, okay, quality's good, that's great. Hi Mark, thanks for coming back. We're doing Mark's uh, song request today, so I appreciate him submitting that request. Please know that you can do that as well. If there's a song you've always really wanted to sing but haven't felt empowered enough to conquer it, if it's doable within this short amount of time, I would love to feature it in a future workshop and uh, work on that with you. 
Hi, Melanie. Melanie is a professional singer in our area. She just started performing with young Scotty Lawless. Can I still call him that? He's getting old. That's crazy. Uh, so please check out Melanie's journey. Send her a friend request. Melanie, I'm not sure if you started an official page for that yet, but if you have or you have something else you'd like to share, please drop it in the comments because we want to support you. Hannah City, outside Peoria, yes. Are you checking in from Hannah City, Mark? Cause, or are you creeping on me? <laughs> I can't tell. Because that's where I am. Cool. Let me make sure I'm getting all these here. Oh, internet. We're gonna keep trying. Gonna keep trying. Let's try this way. Okay, continuing to breathe deeply. And we're sitting tall with our loose limbs. And as you exhale, I want you to imagine the stress of the past week leaving on the wave of your breath. Maybe it's from work or from a family issue or just from existing in our, uh, as a human right now, which is so complicated. It was complicated before COVID began and it's somehow even more complicated now. So whatever is weighing on your shoulders, even if it's not weighing down very much, release it on the wave of your breath and uh, watch it sail away. Mm, that's good. And then as we inhale, we're gonna imagine that we're filling back up that space that we just emptied with all the good things available to us in this moment, including this beautiful weather and this sunshine. Hmm, very nice, okay. Checking back in here. As I do that, keep your tall spine and your loose limbs and keep breathing deeply. Keep releasing the stress and whatever else is burdening you from your instrument, your body, your, your psyche, whatever you wanna call it. Let's get the stress out of there. And we're going to continue with some simple stretches. Still breathing deeply. It's so easy to forget to breathe when we're stretching. All right. Not going to take too long on these things because we want to get a lot of other good work in today. Back up tall. Let's slowly stretch our shoulders at every angle. Oh, that's better. And reverse. Okay. And we're gonna keep checking in the comments. See how we're doing. Let me in. Hard to get into my own video. Brandon's face, but getting a little tricky. Okay, continuing our stretches, we're gonna walk our hands, if you're sitting, walk your hands over to the side. Oh yeah, and get a good stretch through your spine, your shoulders, your abdomen. Always remembering to breathe. And I'm gonna walk back this way and mute myself. And we're stretching, we're continuing to release that stress. Okay. If you're just joining us, please check in. If you're returning, give me a heart in the comments. Mark, that was that heart. Thanks for coming back. Uh, if you are coming for the first time, singing with me for the first time today, please give me a thumbs up. I want to welcome you. And if you've got kids with you today, I want to make sure they feel included. So give me a smiley face if there are kids in the room. Okay, we've stretched, we've breathed deeply. Let's move on to focusing on our face. We're gonna stretch our face and make every face we can make. If I can do it on camera in front of all of you, you can do it at home alone. Embrace the silly. Eyebrows up in the air. Can you do one at a time? Very nice. Cheeks. Uh, 
Um, let me know if I'm blinding you. The curtains in here are weird, but I can try to try to work something out. Quite pale. Um, looks a little bright, so let me know if it's too bright on your eyes. Okay. Jaw up and down. Side to side. Front to back. Okay, and we're going to end with a jaw massage. Still breathing deeply. That's better. Okay. Behind the ears, where the jaw connects to the ears. don't believe we did this in January. We're going to clean our teeth today. What's that all about? It's really for our tongue. It's going to make, give us a little tongue workout, good stretch. So we're going to clean our teeth. We're going to go three times around in one direction. Doesn't matter, either way. And three times around in the other direction. Then we're going to come one time back around and then one time back around. Just the front. And you can watch me first if you want and then do it yourself or join in right now. Here we go. You know what? I lost track, but here goes the other three. There we go. Okay. The comments are not coming up for me yet, but I'm working on that. So if you have any questions, do bear with me. Thank you. Give me those comments. I want those comments. Pfft. Okay. Oh, okay. Continuing to relax, continuing to breathe deeply. This all feels good? Good. Okay. We're going to move on to some respiratory exercises. Of course, if we're singing, that means we're going to need to do some breathing and not the regular sitting on the couch shallow type of breathing. We need to bring awareness to our breath right now if we haven't already. And we're going to apply that with some hissing. Even though we're making this sound, I want you to actually focus on your inhale on, and on your exhale. It feels counterintuitive, but that's going to be the most beneficial for us. So I'm going to demonstrate for you now in case that you're joining us for the first time today. See, I tried to resist expressing stress on my face because that's tension coming back in here. We don't need that. Uh, I tried to resist gasping at the end because that's tension coming into our respiratory system. We don't need that. We are working to get that out right now. And um, you might have noticed I also checked my posture and made sure my shoulders weren't too tense right at the beginning. So these are all things we can do as we do this exercise. But if this is your first time doing it, go ahead and just focus on inhaling and exhaling quietly and slowly. Here we go. Why are we doing this? This is for our diaphragm. This is going to give our diaphragm strength, uh, perseverance, is perseverance the right word? Sure, longevity, um, all those good things that we need for a supported singing voice. Our diaphragm is just key. It, it, it's, it, it, it's like vocal cords and diaphragm, you can't have one without the other and, and, and have a, a, um, a, a, a fully equipped singing voice. Um, so we always are going to be focusing on our diaphragm a lot during warm-up time. 
And the way we challenge our diaphragm each time we do this exercise is by trying to hold that hiss a little longer and a little longer and a little longer. Even if it's wavering and it's weak and it's kind of sputtering like you're running out of gas, see if you can challenge yourself for a millisecond longer because that's what's going to grow your diaphragm. We don't just want to be making sounds. We want to actually be physically challenging our instrument so that it can grow just like you would challenge your body in the gym rather than strolling on the treadmill and expecting transformation to happen. That sounds like me. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. One long hiss and then we're going to change it. I believe last month we did a staccato hiss. Today we're going to do a staccato shush. That's a little, um, uh, little, a little less susceptible to sneaky trouble that's hard to pick out and notice uh, if you're not looking for it. So this is a good thing to do at home alone as opposed to if we were working together one-on-one -on -one today. Um, so we're going to make a shush sound and the word staccato, if you weren't with us last month and if you have not heard that word before, that means short and separated. So rather than shh, the sound will be this, shh, 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 just little bursts of air. What I don't want you to do is breathe in between those bursts. This should like, still be off of one long, slow breath as many bursts as you can without taking another breath. Challenge yourself, feel that burn, and then inhale slowly and as relaxed as possible when you've run out of air. So I'm gonna de demonstrate for you, and while I do this, I'm also gonna check in and see if I can get the comments working here. Hopefully you felt some jumping in your diaphragm. Every time we give a burst of shush, we should feel a jump here. If that's not happening, there might be something up in here that you're doing uh, that, of course, I'm not able to see and point out right now that can kind of like compensate for that and kind of cheat you out of the benefit of the exercise. So if you're not feeling that jump in your diaphragm, try it a few more times. Try bigger shushes, bigger bursts of air, See if you can feel that and then chase that feeling. Okay, still working on it over here. Thanks for being with me today. If you're just joining us, we're in the middle of our vocal warm up. And today's song comes from one of my favorite artists of all time, Mr. Frankie Valley. It's Can't Take My Eyes Off of You, and that's by request from January attendee Mark Proud. Thanks for that song request, Mark. That means you can make requests too if there's a song you really, really want to work on. I won't necessarily guarantee that it'll be next month or, um, or um, that it will be simple enough for us to work on as a group, including beginners uh, in this short amount of time. But I would love to field your requests and uh, do a, a song that you'd really like to sing 
if it's at all possible. And I promise if it's possible, we can do it. We will do it. Okay. Help me out, Facebook. annoying but it's okay we'll be fine i'm gonna take a sip of water i hope you have some water with you as well good 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 good, good. okay we've just done some hissing and some shushing we're gonna move on to our voice this is why we're here today it takes us a while to get there but that is all preparation to support what's happening here and to protect it from damage so easy to damage your voice. This is one of the major reasons that we focus on always beginning a vocal session with a warm up because you only have one instrument. If you do what I saw a musician recently do on Saturday Night Live and try to bust your guitar over an amp, you can go out uh, to a store tomorrow and buy a new car, a new guitar if that's in the budget for you. But no matter what your budget is like, you can't purchase a new voice. And that's why we go to such great lengths to uh, protect it and support it. So please take that as seriously as I'm urging you to do so now. I want you to be able to sing well into old age and to never lose this part of yourself. And that is my dream for you. And if we can also strengthen it along the way, then we'll be cooking with gas. Great. So let's get to it. We're going to do some sighing. I do believe we did this last time. This is a great vocal warm up, uh, one of my favorites. If it helps you, you can call it sirens. That helps some of my students because it sounds a lot like um, uh, a police siren. I don't prefer that, but if that helps you, that's great. Um, so let's start now. We're gonna sigh from, or siren from low to high, from our low voice to our high voice. And we're gonna keep our mouth nice and open. We're going to keep our eyebrows up as we go higher. These are a lot of new things uh, if this, to think about if this is your first time joining me. Um, but this is a great reason to have a pen or a pencil and a notebook and your lyrics and your bite. Make all these notes because there's too much to remember just from putting it in your head. Okay, so we're going to keep our mouth open. We're going to use our eyebrows as we go higher. And um, we're going to be really, really gentle. We're also going to start with some H. A nice stream of air before we ever make a, a sound with our vocal cords. We're going to start with a stream of air that's going to protect our voice as we do this exercise. And we're going to be nice and gentle. Here we go. I'm going to demonstrate for you. And if you've joined me before, you're welcome to join in now. I almost forgot my eyebrows. All right, you might notice there was a flip in there, that's good. If flips come out, that's good. If cracks come out, that's good. As long as they don't hurt, that's fine. Embrace those things. Those are weak areas of our voice that need to be strengthened. And the only way they can become stronger is by receiving attention rather than trying to be ignored and avoided. So let's not avoid them today. Let's embrace the weakest parts of our voices today. Please try this exercise with me. Good job. When we go up with our eyebrows, it's not that we need to be worried about it, but more like we're pleasantly surprised by how much we're enjoying the exercise. Let's call it that. Let's do it again. sound again that means our voice is ending comfortably and safely and in a healthy way give me those comments i want to have to talk to you right now to me facebook okay moving on Deandra. let's sigh from high to low here it's especially important to be very gentle and to begin with h with a long stream of air before any sound comes out of your vocal cords your demonstration and uh, uh, returning attendees, you can join in now. Very good. You might have noticed. 
notice I started with my eyebrows up that time. That's not a coincidence. When we use our high register, we're going to use our eyebrows all the time to help lift up our voice. The reason they help is because they lift our soft palate. When we do this, our soft palate lifts inside and creates the tiniest, most incremental amount of additional space, but even the tiniest amount of space supports our voice um, to like an exponential, exponent, expo, exponential? Oh gosh. Ooh, if that's not a word, you're gonna have to ignore me right now and forget this ever happened. But to a wonderful extreme degree, the tiniest amount of extra space can help us so much more than we realize. And by space, I mean inside our mouth, opening our jaw and lifting our soft palate. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Please join in now if you haven't done so yet. Good job, good job. Let's do it one more time. Lots of H at the beginning and at the end. Richard, I am from the Peoria area, uh, but technically, specifically Hannah City, which is just outside of Peoria. Uh, I grew up on my family's farm here and uh, have the honor of living in my grandparents' former home here on the farm. Uh, and uh, But the band, my band Sarah and the Underground, we always say we're from Peoria or the Peoria area or central Illinois. Technically, I'm from Hannah City. Nick, our drummer, is from Peoria, and Brandon, my husband, and our bass player is from Morton. Chris is ready to sing. Hi, Chris Hawkins. Chris Hawkins, please share your uh, music links, your Facebook page, all that good stuff in the comments. Everyone go support Chris. Wonderful local performer and open stage host, and he does just great work in our community, and I'm so appreciative that you're here today. That means a lot to have you here. Okay. Not high for Melanie. We don't have a page yet, and thank you. So okay, awesome. No page yet with Melanie, but we are looking forward to supporting Melanie and Scotty on their journey. Mark, you live on Pinkerton? We're neighbors. That's crazy. You're right here. I could, and you're right. That's so funny. <laughs> We're so close, yeah, so far away. Awesome. Okay. Um, and then maybe 45 minutes of insanity workout before you sleep. Ooh, Mark, you've already given yourself good workout. So you focus on relaxing today, okay? And Karen is returning from last month. Thanks for being here, Karen. Glad you're here. Karen has been considering taking voice lessons with me and she's using this opportunity to further explore that possibility. So I'm really glad that we can do this together. Oh, we've done some sighing. Let's move on to our rain stretch and we're gonna get right to our song after that. By rain stretch, I mean we're gonna use the piano to give us notes that are going to help us stretch every note in our range. So I'm actually gonna go a lot lower than I can sing today and maybe a little higher than I can sing as well, just in case they're join. Uh, well, not just in case, I know that there are others joining in who have a different range than I do, lower, possibly higher. Um, so I wanna make sure you feel included and I'll, tr I'll do my best to um, find a way to continue to guide you through that. Okay, let's start um, for me in the middle. Is that the middle, Sarah? No, it's not. feels too high you can sing an octave lower or you can wait to join in until we're in a in a place that feels comfortable for you we're going to sing on ha today and here's what we're going to sing ha. you might recognize that slide 
guiding motion from our sides or our sirens. We're going to do the exact same he thing here, but we're going to limit that psi or siren between these two notes, between these two intervals. <laughs> You have vibrato coming out great if you don't great just embrace whatever sound is happening right now as long as it's comfortable if it's not comfortable drop a note in the comments and we'll work on that together i'm gonna go a little lower one half step at a time <sighs> have to start dropping out if that's the case you're welcome to wait until we get back into your range or you can keep singing in a higher octave <sighs> satisfied with that. You might notice that I'm singing notes that I never sing on stage. These are not notes I'm probably ever going to use on stage, especially this low C or this D, um, unless it's a very, very special song occasion. Um, but the reason we want to strengthen them is because they're part of our instrument. And if we can get the outskirts of our instrument strong, the center, the comfort, zone the um yeah the comfort zone is going to be all the stronger for that and who doesn't want a wider range i want a wider range i still want a wider range so that's why we do this i never drop out with my lower voice students until i just can't help it anymore because i still want my range to grow and working with lower voices is why i'm able to sing so much lower than i used to so let's keep focusing on this register <laughs> please join me lower voices remember that feeling of how you've been singing leading up to this moment keep that feeling don't move stay in the register you're already in with it. 
this. Ah. And again, uh, bar baritones, tenors, baritones, basses, um, you stay in that lower register even though I popped up a an octave, you stay down. who was sticking with that in a different octave. If we did not reach the end of your vocal range, if you can actually sing lower than that, please let me know in the comments so that next time I can stretch lower with you because I don't want to leave out that part of your range. All right, everyone else, please, if you've dropped out for any reason, please join back in now. We're reversing direction, so we're going to sigh up and then come back down on ha. sound from now on. We're going to hold that higher pitch and very gently you should feel that air coursing through. Not a lot of tension, not a lot of pushing, almost like your voice is a flute, very flute-like. to begin this with H to protect 
protect our upper registers. <laughs> sound like if we didn't use H. Tense, um, sputtering, glottal stop. We'll talk more about that in future workshops. That's not something we want in our warm-up. That's a tool we can use for style in a song here and there, but it's not a habit we want or anything we want in our warm-up because it can cause damage over time if it becomes a habit. Uh, so H, beginning with H, ending with H, protecting our precious instruments. <sighs> Am I singing with enough space? I can't even tell. While we're up here, we should pretty much have that surprised eyebrow thing happening the whole time. If, you, if your voice disappears, good. If it's pain-free and it disappears comfortably, good. That means your voice ended in a healthy way. Every voice has to end sometime, so don't you dare feel bad about your voice ending because you're a human. And think of how insane it would be if you had a voice that never ended. I'd be afraid of you. Anyways, has to end sometime. We don't need to feel bad about that, but we do need to make sure that it ends in a healthy, safe way. And if it disappears without pain or strain, we're on the right track. <laughs> going to disappear soon, which is totally okay. The reason I'm still doing this is because I'm experiencing no pain and no strain. If you are experiencing those things, I want you to stop right now and end your vocal stretch. But for those who are still doing this comfortably, we'll do a few more notes. push myself past that point. That's a good decision, Sarah. Okay, I'm not going to push you past that point either. Let's end that now. Take some deep breaths. Give yourself the gift of a rest after that long vocal workout. Good job, guys. Good job. That stuff might seem simple and too easy and, and too simple, um, but that's the stuff that's going to transform your instrument only if you go back to it and do it on a regular basis and in a healthy way. So I'm glad that I can help facilitate that today. Please know that this video is available, I, I mean always, it's, it's up there now, it's online. So you can go to this video as many times as you want throughout the month and do a vocal warm up with me or maybe do part of the warm up. Maybe you just wanna do the range stretch on a certain day. Maybe on another day you want to review the song we worked on. So you don't have to spend the whole hour with me again and again throughout the month, but use this video as a resource. Please, please do, and share it with anyone else who would benefit from it. Well, anyone's going to benefit from it because we all have voices. We all have human, well, not all of us have working voices, and I never want to forget that. But those of us who are blessed with working voices, uh, it's for a reason, and uh, everyone can benefit from it, but please do share it with someone you know has a desire to sing uh, with more confidence and more comfort. I'm going to give my voice the gift of a rest, too, while I check your comments. You're not sure if you're following the notes. Great, okay, I have another resource for you. Um, and 
The name of it is in my teaching notebook. One second. Okay, this is great. Great, 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 great. So I know you can still hear me. Um, this is something I've started recommending to my students who are in the ear training phase, who uh, are really excited to sing, but either aren't sure whether they're matching pitch or just don't realize that they're not. Um, this is has become a great tool. Yes, this is a free app you can download. It's called Perfect Pitch. There are many um, exercises and tools available on it, but what I want you to try out is uh, the pitch matching tool. And what you'll be able to do is hit any note uh, in the scale, uh, in the scale, any note uh, on the piano, on your virtual piano, and sing it out loud. And the app will give you an indicator of whether you're flat below the note, sharp above the note, or dead on. And as your note, as your voice changes, the indicator will change so that you can build awareness of when you're matching and when you're not. What I want you to do while you're using that app is to take time. It's really easy um, to let your mind begin to rush and become overwhelmed and say, ha, ah, that's not right, ha, ah, ha, ah, ha, ah. and then you go so fast that you don't have time to build awareness. You don't have time to let your ear connect to your voice. So I want you to slow down and take a deep breath in between every note that you sing and replay the note as often, as many times as you need to. Give yourself time and if you use that app, I, I feel quite certain that you will soon begin to um, be much more sure of whether you're on pitch or not. And you'll get better at actually being on pitch if that's something you truly do struggle with. So I encourage you to use that app. It's called Perfect Pitch and it's really helping some of my students right now a lot. It's really exciting to work with them on that. Uh, we even use it during our lessons, uh, which is very helpful, especially being virtual. Um, so I encourage you to use that. That's called Perfect Pitch and I do believe it is free. That's very cool. Making things happen. Awesome. Thanks for dropping that note in the comments, Mark. I'm really glad we could talk about that. Okay, we've warmed up fully. We've stretched our range. We've talked about so many good things, and now we're going to get to our excellent song request from Mark. This is a song by Frankie Valli. You've probably heard it before, unless you're quite young. Um, and it's called Can't Take My Eyes Off of You. So I'm going to move forward with the assumption, forgive me if it's not correct, but I'm going to move forward with the assumption that you you saw in the event that this was the song we were working on. You took some time to listen to it. Maybe you knew, already knew it pretty well already. And that you've got a good grip on what the melody is. If you have trouble matching pitch, that might not feel true. But that can be true soon with some hard work. Um, so please hold on to hope. Uh, but I'm going to move forward with the assumption that you've gotten familiar with this song either over your lifetime or um, over the past week since I announced the selection. So that being said, let's just sing through the verse, the first verse together. Get, I hope you've got your lyrics in front of you. I do as well. You're just too good to be true. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. At long last, love has arrived. And I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Take my eyes off of you. All right, that's the first verse. Frankie does us a major favor uh, by never changing the melody in the verses. So once we've learned those notes, we don't have to relearn uh, another verse. We just have to switch out for some different lyrics. And he also repeats the lyrics later too. So thanks, Frankie. Um, so let's work on just that section. No. Let's keep going. 
Pardon the way that I stare. Reviewing the melody. Pardon the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare. The sight of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak. But if you feel like I feel, please let me know that it's real. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. And if you go down to the next verse, you'll notice we're repeating the words from the same verse and the notes are the same again. So we don't even need to take the time to review verse three. Great. We're going to make some notes on the verses before we touch the chorus. Grab your pen, your pencil, your highlighter. We're going to make some different notes here. The first notes have to do with eyebrows. So make them in a specific way where all these notes look the same and you have an indicator that this means I raise my eyebrows up in the air. We did this last month with our a song from Elvis. We're going to do this with probably every song we work on. This is a tool I use all the time, not only in lessons, but constantly when I'm performing, my eyebrows are my best friends. That sounds weird, but they help me so much uh, to achieve the notes I want to achieve. So I want you to make some marks on the following words to remind you to raise your eyebrows when you sing those words. First line, you're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. And you might have noticed my eyebrows were popping up as we sang this melody. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much, although my love has arrived and I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good. This is counterintuitive to be true. That's an eyebrow section as well, not because it's a higher note, but because we're using some half steps in there and some things that are slightly more difficult to tune than um, the rest of the melody. And when we're doing things that are difficult to tune and when we're needing extra help controlling our pitch, our eyebrows also help us do that. Anything that gives us extra space is going to help pretty much every area of our voice and that's why I'm never going to let you forget about space and eyebrows because they fully equip your instrument outside of breath support. Um, they do the rest of the work or so much of the rest of the work that we need. Okay moving on continuing to mark these words. Pardon the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare and you'll notice the the rhythm uh, pattern here. The side of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak, but if you feel like I feel, please let me know. It's really, you're just too good to be true. Little eyebrow there too, to help us uh, tune those pitches. Okay, focusing just on eyebrows. Yes, let's sing those verses again. Every time you see that mark, eyebrows need to pop up in the air. You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you You'd be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much As long as love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true can't take my eyes off of you pausing you might notice that my eyebrows go up more often than how we marked that's because i've spent many years developing this muscle memory and it's uh, it's not a switch i can necessarily turn off in all moments uh, but the most important times to raise your eyebrows are the ones that we marked it's you're totally welcome to reason more often than that, definitely. But I want to give you at least the minimum of what you should do to help yourself sing this song. Continuing, pardon the way. Pardon the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare. The sight of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak. 
But if you feel like I feel, please let me know that it's real. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. All right. Good job. We're going to pause again. Moving so fast, but we got to pack it in, and then you can refer to this video as often as you need throughout the month. All right, moving on. Um, what were we moving on to, Sarah? <clears throat> you don't even know, do you? Okay, well, let's do um, some more work with the verses. I want you to circle two letters, and they're both in the first section of the first verse and they're both H's. Please circle the H in heaven. You'd be like heaven to touch. And circle the H and hold. I wanna hold you so much. When you see that that H is circled, I want it to remind you to make that H really big. Heaven to touch, hold you so much. That's gonna help us make those notes um, rich and full and also to help them come out right on pitch. So let's practice those two lines together. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. Let's do that again. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. Good job. Okay. <clears throat> Last note on the verses. In the third section, first line, pardon the way that I stare. Please underline the A in the word way. When you see that note, I want you to know that it means to lower your jaw, open your mouth, and give more space to that vowel. Pardon the way that I stare. The next question might be, why just one single vowel in the entirety of verse 1 and verse 2 do we have to give more space to? Well, part of that is because we've got a limited amount of time today and I needed, need to prioritize what we work on. Um, and the reason this word is that priority is because of the why. Whys love to take up our space. And that's what this is what that sounds like. Way, way, way. So that the note is given to the Y, which is really an E sound, instead of the A, way. Do you hear that difference? Way, way. It's not just a difference in vowel, it's also a difference in richness and depth and tone. Space does that. Space, 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 space. Always gonna talk about it. So please underline the A and pardon the way that I stare remind yourself to lower your jaw on that because it's easy to let the Y take over that note and we're not going to let it happen. All right, we're going to do a complicated thing and combine all these notes together that we've taken so far on the verses. It's a lot and it's okay if you miss things here and there because we're going real fast. Just do your best and then come back to this video as often as you want. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. Let's do that section again since I had a hiccup and then we'll continue. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much, at long last love has arrived, and I thank God I'm alive, you're just too good to be true, can't take my eyes off of you. Continuing, pardon the way that I stare, there's nothing else the sight of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak. But if you feel like I feel, please let me know that it's real. You're 
you're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. And I threw in some extra indicators for other places where you could throw in some space for more richness. Okay, again, use this video as often, as often as you need, need to, because we're packing in probably a month's worth of lessons into this. Please know that. We're packing a month's worth of lessons into this free workshop, and uh, that's why we're going so fast and taking notes so that we can remember all these things. If you would like to help me create more opportunities like this to share with you and to share with others, the, the best way to do that is to donate to one of my virtual tip jars. They are All the links are in the title of this video and throughout the Facebook event. Uh, so please consider doing that. I believe you can also send me a donation directly through Facebook payment, which is a new thing that I just used for the first time. And I appreciate that support so, so very, very much. Um, because not only am I uh, putting time into this during the session, preparing for it beforehand, um, doing work to make sure it gets to people afterwards, but also I'm sharing knowledge with you that is the knowledge that pays my bills. So please know that um, these um, tips and these lessons may seem simple and easy, but they're the things that I um, rely on to live and to um, keep the lights on and keep food in the fridge and to keep uh, my passion and my music uh, vibrant and helping others. Um, so um, just know that even though this is a free experience, that does not mean it has no value. And uh, I so appreciate any donation you have to make today, but know that if you can't make a donation today, I definitely don't want you to feel bad about that because the whole point of this is to get this to people who are not otherwise able to um, fit lessons either into their life, their schedule, their personal um, situations, or their finances, for whatever reason. Um, but if you are able to donate to uh, this work today, I so appreciate that because I really enjoy doing it and I want to be able to do more things like this. All right, we're going to continue with work on the chorus. And guess what? We're going to take more notes. Okay, um, let's talk about breathing for the first time in this song. Frankie does you a great favor in this song in that the breathing is really natural and intuitive. You don't have to think like, oh, I gotta fit in a breath here to be ready for that portion because all the breaths are naturally built into the rhythm of the song and the rhythm of the lyrics. But I do want you to make some X's or some kind of mark on your page to remind you where to take big breaths. And here are those places. Right before the words, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. We need the biggest breath of the song right before those words. Then I want you to also put an X after every time we sing baby in the chorus. And then we're gonna put another big X before Oh, pretty baby. So at the end of each line, which is um, intuitive and natural, but it's not always intuitive and natural to take a long, deep breath. So that's what these X's are there to remind you for. Another note I want you to add, we're gonna write in an H like we did in January with Can't Falling In Love. We're gonna put an H in front of the phrase, I love you, baby. I. So instead of I, it'll be hi, I, hi. We're taking out that glottal stop, which is a word we will talk more about in the future. And replacing it with H to protect our voices, but also to help us achieve this note in a really open, um, accurate way. The other place we're adding an H is before ho oh, pretty baby. So we're going to secretly sing ho oh, pretty baby, but our audience won't notice. Uh, because the H will be subtle. It'll be fine, but write it in as a permanent reminder for yourself. Next. Oh, you know what? Let's practice that before we talk about anything else. So we're going to combine those things. Deep breath and a high love you baby. Let's do 
the next um, part of the chorus. Ho, pretty baby. Deep breath and H. Ho, pretty baby. Again. Ho, pretty baby. Last time. Ho, pretty baby. All right, very nice. We're gonna add some more notes to this chorus. I want you to circle some consonants here. Please circle the... Mm, yes, please circle the B, the first B, every time you sing the word baby. So as I love you, baby, if it's quite all right, I need you, baby, to warm the lonely night, I love you, baby. Trust me when I say, oh, pretty, baby. Don't bring me down, I say, oh, pretty, baby. Now that I find you stay and let me love you, Baby, let me love you. We need a really big B to start out every time we say baby. What that's going to do is project our voice into those notes. This is the difference. I love you, baby. Let me do it again. I love you, baby. It can be pretty, but here's uh, energized with more pop on the B. gave my voice strength because to create that pop we have to get an extra breath a burst of air which automatically supports our notes this is the one of the awesome things about singing is when you do one thing it very rarely stops at benefiting only one aspect of your singing changing one thing like space or eyebrows or a deeper breath tends to affect every single area of your performance. Um, and that's something that gets me really excited. So please know that even though these tips are simple, they will unlock so much for you if you take them seriously and use them on a regular basis so that they can become devoted to muscle memory. Okay, moving on with our, let's practice that together, right? Really big B. Let's sing the whole chorus focusing on the B's. I love you, baby. And if it's quite all right, I need you, baby. To warm a lonely night, I love you, baby. Trust in me when I sing. That's better. Consonants. Please circle the P in Oh Pretty Baby. P oh Pretty Baby. Pretty Baby. That line needs to pop. Probably the poppiest of all the popping lines. It needs to be so poppy um, that the, your power is just totally unleash, unleashed on that. Oh Pretty Baby. So you've got ha, p, b three opportunities to put pops of air into that one line of lyrics. Lastly, please circle the D and don't bring me down. Don't bring me down, I pray. Let's practice that section one more time, focusing on all those consonants we just circled, mostly Bs. I missed one. Please circle the Q. And if it's quite all right, quite, quite. That's a hard one to get out in a short amount of time, but we can do it. Um, quite, quite, do it with me right now, quite, 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 really hard Q, quite, now let's do the whole chorus, popping our consonants, okay, here we go. Love you, baby. Let me 
good job. The last note I want you to make on the chorus is that last word. You. Circle it, underline it, put parenthesis around it or a star. When we sing that word, we're going to flip into our falsetto. So instead of love you, which just seems like too abrasive for this love song, we'll, we'll come out strong. Let me love you. And put in that nice little twist of feeling there. Okay, now we're going to do a tough thing. And we're going to work on this chorus with, oh my gosh, we need to end soon. We're going to work on this chorus with all our combined notes for the chorus. Then we're going to do the whole song with all our combined notes. Oh, this is a lot of notes in a short amount of time. So you're going to miss a lot of these things. But that's okay because you can work on this in the next month and get so much progress down. What I want you to do, uh, we'll talk about that plan after this. Here we go. <laughs> Chorus, combining all our chorus notes, deep breaths, H's, and really big consonants. I love you, baby, and if it's quite alright, I need you, baby, to warm a lonely night, I love you, baby, trust in me when I more often than we've marked, do that. Do that. You have the freedom to do that. This is not a classical piece. You can take breaths where you need to in this song and that's more than okay. All right, ready for the big to-do? We're going to do the whole song from start to finish with all of our notes. That means our eyebrows are going to be popping up all the time. Oh my gosh, we have notes to add to the chorus, believe it or not real quick and then we're going to do this. Please make your eyebrow marks on the whole phrase, I love you baby, the word quite in the next line, the word lonely in the next line. Then make eyebrow marks on the whole phrase, oh pretty baby, oh pretty baby. We're going to need it. We're going to, we're going to be glad we did. Mark the word down in the next line the word found in the next line, and the very last word of the chorus, you, eyebrows up in the air for that falsetto. So much happening, but if you take these notes, you can soak all this in over time. Wow, so soon, but here we go. The whole song from the top. You can do this, catch as much of these notes as you can, and let's start out with good feelings and a deep breath. You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you You'd be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to Take my eyes off of you. Pardon the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare. The sight of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak. And if you feel like I feel, please let me know. Just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Deep breath. 
for you and do that throughout the next month but use this video as a reference point for all those tips and tricks and all those subtle subtle things that you need to remember to uh, sing this song to the best of your ability not just so that you can be good but so that you can feel good while you're singing that's why we're doing this so that we can do something at least once a month together that we can guarantee will help us feel good and enjoy singing more. So I want you to do that. The other thing I want you to do to practice this song is to go in steps. We did a little bit of that today. Um, and in lessons, I would break it up so much more over a long period of time. But this is how you can do this at home. One time, go through the song practicing all things eyebrows. Focus only on the eyebrow notes and so call those things in and develop that muscle memory. Maybe do that for the first day or two or three that you work on this song. Next, switch to focusing on the notes that um, pop your consonants and, and that includes your H's. Spend a day or two focusing only on singing, worrying about, not worrying about, but uh, concerning yourself with those notes. The next day, Focus only on deep breathing and do that for a couple days in a row. After you've focused on each of them separately for enough time that they can soak in, then you can start combining things. The next day, try eyebrows and deep breaths together. And the day after that, try eyebrows and consonants together. Then try consonants and deep breaths together and do that for a while until you're you find yourself more easily being able to focus on more than one thing. And then the final step, not the, well, the next step is combining all the notes, practicing focusing on all of them at the same time. There are like a, there are like a hundred things happening in the song that we just talked about over that short amount of time. So give yourself the gift of time to work on this so that your muscle memory can develop. Cause this is a lot to ask of one instrument to do for the first time in a single day. It's too much, honestly. Um, so use this reference point as a video to shape your pre personal practice time over the next month. Then eventually after you've combined everything, you'll notice that you're able to start forgetting about it little by little, but it's still happening because you've developed your muscle memory. 
that is such a cool feeling. If you've experienced that feeling before, you know what I'm talking about. It's addicting. And if you haven't, know that with some work, you can feel it and you will love it when you get to that point of empowerment. You guys, thanks so much for singing with me today. We're going to end uh, here, right? Pretty much right now. I just want to say goodbye and thank you for being here. Please share this with someone uh, who would love to do some singing today. Um, and use this video as much as you need to before our next workshop together in March. That's the end of March, y'all. Be on the lookout for that. Please RSVP to, RSVP to these immediately when you uh, receive the invitation. If you don't get an invitation, please be on the lookout for them. Um, and I would also love to get your email address so that you don't even have to worry about that. And I can send reminders directly to your email inbox just once a month to uh, make sure that this date gets on your calendar and that you don't miss out on this workshop. If you are able to donate financially today, thank you so much for that gift. It is going to help me continue to do good work like this and offer more free opportunities to people who otherwise wouldn't have access to them. So thank you so much for your generosity and your constant support. Most of all, thank you for your presence here today. Please go check out that song you heard at the beginning of this video. It's called The Green Light Song. It's available on your favorite streaming platform under Sarah and the Underground. Um, and as always, leave any questions or comments here. I would love to discuss uh, things further with you after this video is over. Guys, please have a great day. Hope you enjoy this weather. No, you are. I know you're enjoying it. That's so silly. I know you're enjoying this weather. I'm going to go enjoy it now, too. Thanks so much. Bye.